All right, welcome back everybody to the channel. Today we're doing tips and tricks on Nautilus. So look, I've been spamming Nautilus in solo queue. Let's actually take a look at my OPGG real quick because I'm proud of it right now. It's a pretty nice OPGG. There you go. Pretty spicy OPGG. I've been playing a lot of Nautilus. He's my highest win rate champ. If you are a support and you want to play a champion that is really, really powerful in almost all metas, insanely strong if you know how to roam with him, quite straightforward to play, but also has a lot of cool combos and depth. Get it? Depth? Pick Nautilus. I'm telling you guys, in my opinion, over most seasons, Nautilus support has been one of my most successful sports. And there's a reason for that, because this champion has so much insane power loaded into one ability. So we're going to go through some tips. We're going to go through some tricks. It's not just going to be combos. There's tons of videos out there which actually have really good combo. They show you how to do super crazy flash QR tricks. You can go look at those if you want. I'll link some in the description that I actually learned a few things from. I'm going to give you guys a couple of tips about how you can actually improve your Nautilus play, which isn't just do this combo, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. So hopefully by the end of this video, you'll be a better Nautilus player. And hopefully by the end of this video, you will be climbing out of ELO Hell or in Nautilus's case, climbing into the depths of ELO hell <laughs> get it funny depth joke am i right he's a deep champion i don't know how many more of these i have in me q hitbox is broken yes so point number one is your q hitbox is absolutely ludicrous this is your normal q i'm just gonna throw it max range wow wonderful let's try and miss the q so this is this is intentionally missing the q okay now your q when you almost miss it it basically it's magnetic it's got a much larger hitbox for champions which means you can do stuff like this you can hook around walls it's pretty nuts. Yeah, fuck, bitch. See what I mean? Your Q hitbox is absolutely nuts. And that works on minions as well. So if you have a bunch of minions here, you can hook around them. They're very much like terrain. They have smaller hitboxes. It feels that way. But minions are a little harder to hook around. Number two. Number two is actually the second part of number one, which is the end of your hitbox is actually longer than it looks like. That's what she said. Learn your Q hitbox. If you are lacking length in real life, then Nautilus can give you length in the game of League of Legends. And I'm actually going to not do every single Q combo because I don't even know every single Q combo off by heart. You don't have to get super fancy with Nautilus mechanics to get the high elo. However, point number three, your Q can be comboed in like a million different ways with your other abilities. So I can throw Q and then while I'm Qing, I can E. I can throw Q and I can W mid Q. I can throw Q and I can R mid Q. You can do some fancy things that if you auto attack reset your Q, like it looks funky. There you go. So your auto attack reset kind of like breaks your Q, but it only works on your passive auto attack. So as you can see, they have a little timer here. You can see the little timer. You need to wait for your auto attack reset. So if you auto attack and then nope, 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 nope. There we go. I got it. If you practice that in training tool, what you can actually try and do is you can screw with their brain and uh, hook somebody from the side without actually like facing them, which is a really big deal because they might not expect it. And like I said, there's a billion different things you can do. I'm going to link some videos down below that are just pure Nautilus combos. I don't need to redo that video. It's really well made. That guy's a beast. When chasing someone who is running away, when you're chasing as Nautilus and you see someone here, I see a lot of players, they go for the 50-50 hook. They try and hook this guy and if they miss, they're just standing there. A much safer option is just go a little bit closer and then hook. So that if you miss, you end up in front of them and you can auto attack them anyway. That's like a classic mistake I see a lot of lower elo Nautilus players make. Point number five, real simple. Your W is an auto attack reset. Super easy. Just learn to use your W as an auto attack reset. Otherwise, you're losing damage. So generally, in situations where you don't need to chain CC the target, like you don't need to lock them down forever and make sure they can't flash, your W is a great auto attack reset. In other situations, which we'll talk about in a second, sometimes it's better to save your W. Point number six is with no attack speed, the enemy can flash out. I actually didn't take attack speed. I took ability haste in this game. So if you Q, look at the little bar on top of their head when I do this. If you Q and then auto attack, there's actually a tiny bit of time if for certain situations where they can flash. It's weird. It looks like it's, the bar is full, but it's not. They'll actually be able to flash. What you actually need to do is either run attack speed if you're not comfortable, or this is the proper combo to fully 100% chain CC someone. You do this, and then you do that. So you Q, R, and then auto. It's not perfect. I'm actually not doing it that perfectly. So let me, it's easier if you're up close as well, because you can R them in range. There you go. They have Merc Treads, the stun on your Q. It doesn't last long enough and they can flash away. So you need to keep track of that. Be careful. A lot of junglers and a lot of mid laners will buy Merc Treads against heavy CC comps like you. Um, it's not great against Nautilus, but it's not the worst. And you need to be sure that you don't let a free kill get away when you're hooking them. Because if you do that and they flash away late game, you're going to be real sad. Instead, do this. And as you saw right there, if you guys have noticed, your R 
actually appears in front of you. R roughly like two Teemos in front of you. So you can do a crazy amount of things with that. For example, that. That's kind of a cool little combo you can do. Um, another thing is you can't flash when you Q, like, like you can't flash until the Q actually lands. So you need to like Q flash or do something kind of in between. So when Q actually hits, you can flash like that, but you just have to get the timing down. I have never ever used any of these combos in game. I'm not kidding. I've never done one of these like flash R combos. I have never done that. I have never needed to do that. However, it looks sick. So, I mean, I don't know if you guys could find a way to do it or use it in game. Yo, post that clip, send it to me, share it with me. I'll be like, holy crap, you're insane. That was point number six and seven rolled into one. Point number eight, you can E flash to guarantee the slow. This is another really, really easy one. When champions are running away or when they're away from you, a really common issue is if this guy has no flash, I could go for the hook, right? And it's like a 50 50. Instead, I can just flash E, slow him, auto him, and then hook. Real simple stuff. So you start channeling E and then you flash. And it's really hard to stop. And then the slow stacks up and then you can slap him. Another thing about your E is, really important note, there's like a sweet spot where all three Riptides hit. Especially when you CC them, if you walk away slightly, you can see all three little Riptides hit. I'll keep it 100 with y'all. This, this ability does literally negative damage. Like, I feel like at times it almost heals the enemy team. They have nerfed this ability into the ground. But yes, if you want maximum damage, you walk away slightly after you land your auto attack. Second thing is, when your teammates CC, a ton of Nautilus players stack their CC. Learn to not stack your CC. It is really important that you don't waste, because that's pretty much all you do. You are one of the few ability champions which has four CC abilities in the game. Do not waste your CC for no reason. Two biggest defenders are the auto attack. So imagine Teemo is stunned. If I auto attack him right now, it's a waste of the auto attack. Wait until his he's not stunned. Wait until like the last 10% of whatever stun he's suffering from and then auto attack it. Extend the duration of CC. Another really big one is the E. So a lot of people would do something like this. If you need the E slow, if you're going to chase a champion down, don't waste your E slow. You could chain CC. That is the maximum amount of chain CC. They're going to be knocked up for like three seconds and then they're going to get slowed as they're running away after the knockup end. It's on a six second cooldown level one and you don't max this ability. Very rarely are you going to be able to spam this multiple times in a 2v2 without running out of mana. Something I'd recommend for newer Nautilus players, you really need to pay attention to the bars on the top of these, uh, these guys' heads. Don't stack your CC. Try to find a middle ground between using everything immediately and letting them flash away. You don't have to be perfect on your CC, but just don't waste it. Point number 10. If any of you guys have played Urgot or played against Urgot, you'll know that his Urgot E is it's a very powerful tool for escaping because he can buffer it and face tank's abilities. He can face tank CC. What you can do on Nautilus, really useful tip, is if you're about to get hooked, it's basically Camellia. You can hook the wall and I can get CC'd and face tank the CC, but the hook will still go through and drag me to its location. And actually what happens is during the travel time, you'll absorb the stun and then you can just walk away it's like really really strong so for escaping don't just hook away if there's a targeted stun flying at you wait until the stun is about to land and then hook you'll completely avoid the cc so like pretty pog number 11 a real simple one number 11 on nautilus the number one kind of tip Again, and a lot of low elo players do this incorrectly in team fights they panic and they alt the first target don't alt the first target alt the last target there we go you get way, way more CC. And uh, there's absolutely no reason to ult this target alone because everybody takes damage on the way and they get knocked up. Yes, they take slightly less damage if they hit by the shockwave. So if, you, if I ult these guys, this guy took 125 damage, this guy took 150 damage, right? You know, that's just, it is what it is. However, it's way more important that you actually dump out as much CC as possible and disrupt in team fights. That is a lot of info in one video. So I'm probably going to stop it there. There's a ton of other things that you can always talk about when it comes to champions, more specific to like actually playing the game, when you should ward, uh, how you want to play lanes, uh, little interesting things about 2v2, about uh, matchups, all that kind of stuff. But we're just going to call it on this video. And if you're enjoying these videos, it would really help if you subbed. My channel is growing, albeit slowly, and uh, I really appreciate every sub and it tells me what kind of videos you guys like. So if you enjoy these kind of tips and tricks videos, I can do them for different champs. Alistair, I've done one for. Uh, we can do stuff for Leona. We can do stuff for a bunch of other champs if you like them. Um, yeah, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe. And if you don't, then 